Good evening, everybody. This is Thomas Ott from NeuralMarketTrends.com, and welcome to my sixth video tutorial on Rapid Miner 5.0. I can't believe it. I am over 50% done for this batch of videos, and I'm looking forward to thinking about the next batch of 10 videos or so after number 10, but I'm probably going to take a short break between them and think about what I can teach you guys about this great open source software, this great data discovery software called RapidMiner. But I'm digressing a little bit. Let's start tonight's video tutorial. Tonight, as I alluded to in my fifth video tutorial, I want to talk a little bit about using RapidMiner to generate a decision tree to help you make a decision on some direct mailing, some sorry, some direct marketing mailing information that you might have. This type of tutorial might be very handy for a marketer who has a bunch of data that is looking to segment their markets and to figure out where the sweet spots could be. As we know, advertising is not an easy business and trying to find the sweet spot to get people to buy your product is a full-time job sometimes in itself. So let's get started for tonight. First things first, I don't have any direct mail marketing data. So I'm going to use Rapid Miner's data generation capabilities by going to data generation and finding the generate direct mailing data operator here, dragging it in and connecting it to the output. Because I'm curious to see what it looks like if I can get it to connect. Okay, let's press, let's press run here. Okay, go to data view. Here you have eight attributes and one special attribute, your label. The label is comprised of no response and response. You have some fake names here. The age of these people, what type of lifestyle do they live? Are they healthy, not active, etc.? The zip codes where they're in, are they married or single? What type of car do they drive? What type of sports they like and what their earnings are. We're going to take all this data based on the output label and segment it into something, into a decision tree that will have more, not the word probability, but that will give a stronger weight to certain market segments that will help you figure out where the sweet spots are. Okay, let's build the model. The model is going to be built just as we have done with the past few videos. We're going to take the data and we are going to split it into a validation and training set. We're going to send the training data into the learner, use the validation data to validate the model, apply the model, and then give us some performance and spit out the information. So since this is a decision tree, we're going to use a decision tree learner. But first, we're going to use this famous split validation validate operator, which we have here, and connect it, okay. It's a nested operator, so we're going to open this. We're going to put the learner here in training, and we're going to test it over here. And the learner is found under modeling. It is a classification type of learner, and it's under tree induction, decision tree. Grab him, drag him over, connect him. See how easy Rapid Miner 5.0 is? I love it. The learning curve is a lot lower than when I started. Okay, apply model. Apply. Grab him. Right click and make the connections. Okay, let's do the performance one. See, within about five minutes, I could have you modeling and segmenting, segmenting your data. Probably faster if you take out all the fluff of my yakking. Okay, let's go back up here. I'm going to connect the model. We want to see the model result. This node will give us the decision tree. And I want to also see the performance measures. measures. Okay, we are ready. We're ready to run the data, to run the model, and see what comes out. Press play. Okay, let's just talk about performance real quick before we see the decision tree. 
I had asked Rapid Miner to give me a mini report on the performance of this model. And you can see here the accuracy is 80%, precision is about 67, and you have a host of other items such as recall, the uh, AUC uh, ROC thresholds here, which you can take a look at. We're not going to discuss that now, but we're just going to go ahead and look at what everybody's itching for, the decision tree, and here she is. Look at this. Here you go. Rapid Miner used the decision tree learner to segment our data into groups of ages, zip codes, and earnings that help explain the responses. In this case, it didn't matter what type of lifestyle, if they were married or single, in this case, it was more based upon the zip code, the earnings, and age that made a difference to help you identify where your sweet spots are. For instance, take a look at these responses here. Somebody greater than 55, you want to focus on these zip codes with these earnings to get responses. Whereas somebody who is making, oh, I don't know, let's see here, greater than 99,000, um, wouldn't get a response over here in a zip code over here that is less or equal to 75,000. But somebody less than 99,000 in these particular zip codes, greater than 55, would get a response. Whereas somebody less than 55,000, that is in a zip code that is greater than 13,828, making less than 142,000 is going to get no responses. So now you can see if you are a marketer and you have some data using a decision tree, you could figure out where your market segments are and how to target your business or your mailings better. I might have shown you a way that will save you perhaps a ton of money by hiring out some expensive consultant, whereas you could do this in about 10 minutes by yourself. That is the power of Rapid Miner. That is the power of my video tutorials, I would like to think. And I look forward to hearing any comments or questions that you have regarding this video tutorial. As always, your comments, your emails, visiting me on gtalk at ot.com really matters a great deal. I'm really happy. I'm excited to keep bringing you more video tutorials. So, before I sign off, this is Thomas Ott from NeuralMarketTrends.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.